Today we're looking at different comments and this one happens to be from me. Let's read it together. All Palestinians should be vegan. All Americans should be vegan. All Jews should be vegan. And all gays should be vegan. And then I left a bunch of dots. Hmm, you guys think we can add more to that list? Let's do it together. What about Christians? Can they be vegan? Yeah, why not, right? I mean, it clearly says in the Bible, thou shalt not steal. So that means all Christians should not be stealing the milk from cows, the eggs from chickens, not even the honey from bees, or the wool from sheep, yeah, or the, the skin from other animals like cows. It's awful. Rip the skin off someone or the fur. All Christians should definitely be vegan. Can you think of any other groups? What about women? As a group, should all women be vegan? I think so. I mean, I know that women would not want to be pinned down and sexually assaulted. So why would they pay somebody to do that to a cow, right? And why would women want to steal the milk from someone else's baby? I mean, if they wouldn't want anyone to steal their baby's milk, why would they pay somebody to pin down a mom and steal her milk? Cow's milk is her baby cows, right? Mm hmm. What about dads? Shall dads be vegan? Well, first of all, they can be, right? I mean, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated that you can be vegan at any stage of development and any gender. So dads can be vegan. Men. Should men be vegan? I think so. I mean, they tend to be the protectors in society, right? So you would think that the men of the world would want to protect animals, not hurt them. In fact, when you think about it, probably men should be rushing to factory farms to try to save the animals that are there. I mean, right now there are billions of animals who are lined up to have their heads cut off you would think that the men of the world would be lining up to try to stop it. What about police officers? Do you think they should be vegan? I do. I mean, you know, there's always that joke about police officers eating donuts. They should all be asking for vegan donuts. That's for sure. No eggs, no dairy. Why? Because they can. They taste just as good. Besides, we gave police officers the ability to carry a gun around to stop crimes from being committed, right? If a police officer saw somebody kicking a dog or trying to pin a dog down, steal her puppies and drink her milk, police would be like, what the fuck's going on? Would definitely stop the person from doing that, right? So why aren't they rushing in to help the cows? And the baby cows, baby cows need their milk. I urge all police officers who are watching this to really consider what you're doing. You should be striving to be vegan and you should be vegan. Look, the reason you became a police officer is probably because you want peace in the world, right? Because you're a good guy, you understand right from wrong. Could be a woman too, I guess. But you know what I mean. You should strive to be good yourselves. Hopefully when you go shopping at the end of the day, you're not going to steal the milk from baby cows. You're not going to go into that section of the grocery store. You're going to be getting oat milk or soy milk instead, right? Yeah. What about doctors? Do you think doctors should be vegan? I think so. I mean, I know quite a few doctors that are vegan and you can look them up online. Dr. Greger, Dr. Clapper, Dr. Campbell. All kinds of doctors are vegan. And if they can be healthy 100% by eating only plants, and all the doctors know that plants have protein, then why wouldn't all doctors be vegan? It's just a no-brainer. So easy. Just eat veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds, legumes. You know? Buy a variety of foods. 
I mean, I just got home from the local market and I just grabbed a couple of things here, but you know, there are so many more choices than just this, but I can't wait to eat these. What about kids? Should they be vegan? Of course they should. Well, first of all, every kid is born vegan. When you come out of your mom, you're automatically vegan because your mom's milk is meant for you. When you're little, you never hurt animals. You never want to hurt animals. You just want to protect them and play with them. So all kids should be allowed to keep their vegan virginity. No parent should be shoving corpses down their throats. I mean, they're not consenting for you to kill any animals on their behalf. If you give them the choice, like I have a granddaughter who's four years old, if you walk up to her and say, do you want me to kill that animal, stab that animal right now, or would you rather have a bowl of lentils or beans or spaghetti, for sure she'd say, don't hurt the animal. That's in kid's nature, right? And thankfully, my granddaughter's vegan. She's allowed to maintain her vegan virginity. When she's 18, then she can decide for herself if she wants to pay somebody to kill animals. But I can guarantee you that if you raise your child vegan from birth, it will never ever occur to them to hurt any animals. It will just be a thought that is, seems insane to them. What about teenagers? Can they be vegan? Hell yeah, absolutely they can. Millions of teenagers around the world are vegan. They choose to be compassionate. They choose not to hurt animals and they're great examples. If you're a teenager right now, I encourage you to look up all the different reasons that you should be vegan. And there's Facebook groups, so many resources out there. Just Google healthy vegan recipes and you're on your way. And don't let the vegan phobic bullies get you down. And teenagers, when you decide to go back to your roots and be vegan again, I hope you get all the love that you deserve from your family. I hope when you come out of the closet as a vegan and you say, I've decided not to hurt animals anymore, mom and dad, that you'll get a big hug and your parents will be kind and they'll say, great, I'm really proud of you. You know what? All of us should do it. And then the whole family will become vegan. Unfortunately though, I hate to tell you, the chances of that happening seem to be slim from my experience. A lot of parents have a big ego and when they find out that their kid is actually smarter or kinder than them, rather than being proud of it, they often close themselves off and they freak out. It's a shame. So if there are any parents out there right now and your kid is coming out of the closet as a vegan, I want you to treat that child the same way that you would if they came out of the closet as a gay or lesbian person. Just say, great, let's celebrate. And then just go and get some vegan ice cream, vegan pizza, start Googling vegan recipes together. Parents, should parents be vegan? Absolutely. You're raising the next generation. You should be an example for them. They should be people that you look up to. You know, you can totally do this. So thanks to everybody who listened today. I'm very glad that you took the time to stay. Thanks for being vegan fantastic, which means that although you might not be vegan yet, you're on your way. It takes a hundred clicks to become vegan. You gotta get the message in your head and in your heart. You're all at the right place to start. So thank you so much for being open-minded. Now the next thing you should do is go and watch a documentary called Dominion. You just type in watchdominion.com and see why I'm here on social media. I'm here to remind you that you don't have to hurt animals. And when you watch that video, you'll see it's pretty sad what our society does. It's pretty shocking. And you'll also hopefully realize that you were meant to be vegan all along. You'll go back to your roots and it's the best decision you'll ever make. I look forward to hearing from you. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.